I'm an artist, which also means I'm a creator since I create things, a storyteller since I have stories to tell, a visionary. I write, a wh write about where I've been. These poems act as self-help. I'm a healer. Not always for myself, but one time a kid told me he almost killed himself, but he heard one of my poems and decided to keep living. And from that day forward, I was like, today is a good day to keep someone alive. People ask me how I did it or how they should do it. And I'm not sure if they're talking about the kid or themselves, but what I've come to learn is can't nobody tell when I'm not doing well but me. I get to travel across the country and do poems for a living. Like, that's my job. And out of 50 states I performed in, 49 of them, I read an article that said only 20% of people in the U.S. are doing what they love, whatever sad statistic it was. And I was like, my God, ain't damn nothing in me. I'm doing exactly what I've always wanted to do, so I must be blessed. Must be exemplifying all this miracle. I am stressed and winning. I look at and update my curriculum vitae daily, and I be like, damn. I'm surprised I even knew how to say that word. And ain't nobody wish nothing bad on me but me. Like everything I ever wanted, I manifested at the end of each meditation. I asked the universe to make me undeniably enough. And people be mad happy when I show up. One time, I performed for 200,000 people and I didn't throw up. It was so cool and exhausting. Did you know? I could touch what feels like a million people's energy and help them feel seen, but go back to my hotel room feeling so fulfilled yet lonely. Yeah, it's amazing. Another time, I thought I was going to marry this guy I had been with for like six years out of my life, but he said he hated my lifestyle, even though this is my life's work. Because my work means I'm never home, but every time I came back, he was gone as an emotionally unavailable, mentally abusive. I have extreme PTSD from that unhealthy relationship, but someone asked me to do that one poem about that one time where he was mine, may you find. A lover that helps you love yourself. May you find a lover that doesn't require you to give more to them than you have to give to yourself. Did I mention I paid off my student loans with poetry? <laughs> Can't nobody tell me I'm not the shit but me. I get so sad sometimes I think I'm losing my mind and I must be since I enrolled in graduate school and graduated graduate school last May. I guess I had returned to my oppressor. I am whoever I think I am, but I wish being a good person paid more. I heard. I heard it's the wounds that people can't see that hurt the most, but I've seen sunsets that look like somewhere tomorrow. My heart is on fire, so I'm chasing the day. At night, I don't sleep. I grind. I've been in my prime like nine times. I got so much love. I give and keep giving. I have so much advice that are really opinions, and maybe they're just hard facts I haven't hardly learned yet. Did you know that people ask me how I'm doing by also commenting on my weight, and here I am. Some foolish somebody that didn't actually hate the way they look today. But you right, girl. Must be the depression. But I'm the kind of giant that's been through what I've been through and you can still depend on. I gave all that I had and you ain't never known a black woman who ain't did that. My friends calling me when they're down and out or just in need. And what good is a God that can't speak life into somebody? Check on your strong friends. Check on your strong friends. Check on your strong friends. Don't believe us. I promise we're pretending. Have you ever... Have you ever tried to tell someone you're not okay and they're like, you're good, and you're like, but I'm not, and they're like, you got this, and you're like, but I don't, and they're like, keep going, and you're like, you're right. I could do this with my eyes closed. I get so overwhelmed that one time I was drowning and screaming, but everybody thought I was swimming and smiling. I died in that dream, and then I woke up on an airplane flying to a different country to do poetry. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed that my life is crazy. My heart is racing. I'm probably dehydrated. Traveling can do awful things to the body, but the one thing I could tell you about being successful is that you have to love what you're doing. Can't nobody steal my joy. Can't nobody steal my joy. Can't nobody steal my joy. Not even myself. I heard or someone said, if your path is more difficult, it's because your calling is higher. So I say I be hero and legend. Nobody built like me, I designed myself. But every time I climb, my community get co-signed. Divinity defined. Cheers to the most high. I just pray I leave something good behind. My name is Ebony Stewart. Thank you so, so much.